Okay, let's start on the other side, but we'll try to do it in a better step. First, we'll install the brake cable. Or at least try to. Yeah. Looks like you still gotta be a monkey to do it. I almost got it. And there we go. And that's what you want to do is make sure that brake cable's on first because you can see I struggled on the other side and put it in after. And get it ready in place on the other side. Okay, now we're going to start the other side. Now, let you tape off of that. This is the passenger side, and it's got that uh, block adjustment for the axles on the Dodges. That's so you can adjust the axle, the two axles, they bind on each other on the, there's a block in the center of the differential. Yeah, gotta make sure you wind that out enough to get the seal in there. No, well, actually the seal goes inside of that. Okay. So we'll start with that. I'm gonna do is give you the all the numbers of the parts. Right off. I'll tell you what they are. Okay, so that's the inner Oh my goodness, hit the tripod. That's the, uh, the inner seal. That's the number on that. Okay, this is like a 69 70 to 72, I think they're all the same. The Plymouth 8 and 3 quarter rear end. This is out of a Barracuda, but okay. Then we have the seal that goes into here. That's, it's a thin little one like that. And it goes in like this. And I'll give you the number on that, if you can see it. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. And then, this is the bearing, the race, and the retainer ring. It comes in a kit like this. And there's the number on that, so you can see it clearly. And then there's the two gaskets. The little metal gasket, thin metal gasket. A wrinkle in that so you can see it. There. And that goes up against the axle. And then the outer where it goes on the outside of the brake plate. And that's a kind of a little foam gasket. There, they need to have all the part numbers for the, to redo this axle. Okay, so we'll start with the, the outer seal. Now, let's screw this down so it's flush. Okay, well it'll still fit. Okay, so we're going to try to get that in nice and straight. Excuse me. <coughs> this edge has to go in a little. <coughs> when it hits hard, you know you can heal. You've hit bottom. Yeah, and that's nice and flush all around. 
Now the thing is that is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I can swallow a bug. <coughs> Where did I put it? Oh, my prelude. We'll put this on the shaft. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but look, it's going to be a month before I get this thing running. I'd like it to be sooner, but we'll see. I'm having a hard time getting the tires. get them if they want an outrageous price or trying to find a better deal. Okay now with the prelude on it should go on easier. There we go. Okay. Same as before. I'm going to pack the grease sparing. Oh, don't want it in the, in the dirt. Okay. First, you put the race on so it goes on like that. Then this goes on next. Now we've got to pack that with grease. So I'll get a pair of gloves on and. Hey rooster. I hear you under there making a lot of noise. Grease is getting down far to get out there. Something to scoop it out with. Okay, a nice wad of grease. I'll flip the bearing over to so the big side so it accepts the grease easier. You'll grab a little push and push it in. Now, you might be able to see the grease coming up there. Keep working our way around. Yeah, it's coming up. There, that's guys. Nice. Okay, now. Close off. And I'll wipe the grease off. Now, back to the hard part. Just driving that back down. Let's take some of the grease off that axle because it's going to get everything greasy everywhere. As I say, you can hear the difference when it hits bottom. It's a different sound. Now, we'll put the retainer ring on. Different sound. That's what you're looking for. Whew. Mm. 
get the tape measure and we'll check see if it's the same as the other one. Inch and a half. Now this is the adjustable one for to drive that shaft tight up against that center block. Take these over to their side. Now I almost forgot, I have this set of plugs. Now these are fill in the spots that we didn't use. Try to get them in here. And that's like for the adjusters. Put them in for now. Like we'll have to adjust the brakes after. Now I'll put these plugs on the other side after. It just keeps all the dust and dirt out. Oh, it'll punch that one in better. Okay, so I'm going to get a rag and clean that out again. Take some uh, brake cleaner. <laughs> yeah, I took a steel brush and cleaned that up a bit first the other day. And yesterday when I did the other side. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. Where's my... Okay, there's the uh, inner, inner one. I'm going to get a little bit of silicone put on that. I'm just going to put a slight little bit around the outside. Just because the... Uh, roughness of the inside of that even though I cleaned it the other day I put some uh, emery paper and okay yeah just a little little coat around there stuff all over the place. Hey chickens. What are you doing? Okay, now we're going to try to punch that in nice and square. We could do the other side. Also I get a hammer. Here I thought I was all prepared, but I'm not as usual. Sorry guys, get out of my feet. I'm going to step on you. I always find it curious, interesting, I guess, where I'm working. Yeah, it seems to be going in straight, but... Yeah. Sure, not deep enough yet. No. Inch and a quarter, we're going to go over an inch and a half.
going pretty nicely. Okay, there's inch and a half right on. So we want to go touch more than that. Like an eighth of an inch would be nice. Okay. Yeah, there's an eighth of an inch. Let's give them a little touch. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the adjustable side, eh? Hmm. Maybe we're doing a little bit more because we're going to have to adjust with the adjuster. Okay, we bottomed out. Okay, next we want to do is put this gasket on. I lost it for a minute. Now I'm going to put a pair of gloves back on and grease that up. Yeah, I'm going to get my hands all crappy. Yeah, I said grease it up, but that's not what I meant. We'll get some silicone on it. Okay, now let's put this on next. Okay, Good. thread that on. Break on the wild beat after. Next is the axle. Nope. Sometimes don't listen to me. That felt gasket was in here. Brakes on right. Spring this time. Okay. We'll get the axle. Put the axle in. Now we want to support it so it doesn't catch on the gasket. Yes, we can. Look at that. Oh, yeah, nice. Where's my uh, mallet? All the way in. Just gonna put the nuts on. My wife's lovely wife's gonna help me because <coughs> she's got smaller hands. I forget where it was then. Now, I didn't even put the lock washers on, so you can put the lock washers on. They're in in here, like really hard to get at. And that's what I did. Is I put all the <coughs> lock washers on first, and then went around and put the nuts on. But you can do it either way works for you. I'm gonna put the nuts on right at the time. Cool. Yeah, just my little hands are fat. I can't get in there. I appreciate my helpmate. She's good. Don't drag me up too much. 
Well, you supported me all the way on this truck, so. Yeah, this side went on real nice. It's funny when you do this, do the things the second time. You know what to do, what not to do. So that's what helps. Did you hurt yourself? No. Did you hurt yourself? No, thanks. So. I see. Oh no. It's oil or something. It's uh, red uh, silicone. Okay. I don't think it's threaded straight. Well, it seems to be, but I didn't go down very far. Well, as long as it starts and it's straight on, it's well. I'll, I'll get you to judge if it's straight. Okay. Yeah, people need a five-year-old picking on the garage. That's for sure. up under there are really hard to get out. Maybe yeah. if I hold that up. Mm, that's good. My fingers in the way. No, it's not going to help, is it? Yeah. The person has no depth perception. Somewhere. Way up in there. there. I guess I thought you'd cut yourself because Yeah, that red, red silicone looks just like blood. Okay, I'll get you to check the second one down. Okay. On that same side of your arm? Yeah. Because that's the one I'm not sure no, of. Oh, good. really? Okay. Can you check that? Sure. sure. Okay. Right. There we go. Thank you, dear. Appreciate You're welcome. that. Welcome. Yeah, they're nice like that. You know they're on Threaded Street. side, back and forth. You know, go around tighten them after. That one's snug. Uh, there we go. They're all snug. Yeah. Excellent. Nice uh, turns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give my wife to click it off there, and I gotta go get the 
Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the drum on. You see how tight the brakes are. Now that's a little loose. I can put a little bit more brake on that and then I'll adjust them later. Yeah. It's very blue. <laughs> Don't you need that thing on first? Oh, nope. Yeah, yeah. That goes somewhere else. No, that goes on next. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, I am still a little clumsy. Do you think it's a three quarters? Did you try one? No, but I guess it's a three quarters. I don't know how to take it off this one. It says push. push. Yeah, but I... Gee, not for girls. Too little. <laughs> Three quarters. Is that what you said in the first yeah. place? I'm sorry. It's a little tiny thing. Is that deep enough or do you want me to find a deeper one? There might yeah. be over in the plastic tray. If not, it's in the top drawer in the camper. Them. And it's the big fat one. Yeah, she's gonna run and get me a socket extension. Okay, I found one. There's one laying right there. I didn't see it. Good, that'd be excellent. Otherwise, I have all these. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Make sure these are good. 
good and tight. Let me try. <clears throat> Change your arms, that's all. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, okay. 